So before we begin this video, I want to give a huge thank you to Gleam for sponsoring this video, an amazing oral care company, which you guys will learn about towards the middle and the beginning of this video. So just stay tuned and you guys will learn about Gleam. I'm going to use it right now, brush my teeth, get ready to film this video. What's up guys, my name is Carlos Alberto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who are new to this channel, welcome. I do style stuff. I do a lot of style stuff and I do all style stuff and I do some hair stuff as well. If you guys are new, aren't are new to this channel, you guys are subscribing, you hit that notification bell button. Thank you so much for returning to my channel. Today what I have for you guys is something really amazing because I want to do something I haven't done in a long time, which is a shopping haul and everything that I picked up in the last few months. So the first thing I want to start off with is just the most basic essential gift that you guys could give this holiday because they are pretty expensive. I found a really cool alternative brand at a really great price point. So it's the perfect gift to give someone who uses a regular toothbrush because it doesn't necessarily mean that their breath smells or anything like that. It just means that you're looking out for them and you want them to upgrade and elevate their toothbrushing game. So, so I picked up this really cool toothbrush from Gleam, as you can see, it's a very minimal looking toothbrush. It has sonic bristle vibrations, two week battery life, a built in timer. So it'll tell you exactly when to stop brushing and when you're done brushing. And also it has multiple brush modes. The good thing about this toothbrush is also a very smart one. It tells you when the battery is dying and it also comes with a really cool travel pouch and a quiet motor. So if you guys are looking to give a gift, this is the perfect gift to give someone a gleam. Everything you need to know is down below in the link and enjoy brushing your teeth. Or even if you wanna get yourself a gift, this is something that you just need. That's an essential item that everyone needs in their bathroom, regardless of your gender, regardless of your age, regardless of anything that you're doing, you need to brush your teeth. So check out Gleam, the link is down below, or stop into your local Walmart and pick one up. Gleam, baby, boo! So if you couldn't tell, I'm moving from top to bottom, teeth first. Now we're gonna start talking about jackets. First thing that I wanted was a statement piece. And I went to oakenfort.com. If you guys wanna to go to oakenfort.com or if you guys wanna check out some really cool affordable pieces, Oakenfort has everything. And also they have multiple store locations, especially in the Bay Area. They have one in San Jose. They have some in San Francisco and I think they might have some somewhere else. I don't know, check out oakenfort.com. But they have really cool modern trendy pieces with really cool patterns. Some fit perfect, some fit oversized. It has more of this like Japanese edge to it. So I picked up this really cool suede jacket. As you can see, the suede is immaculate, that thing focuses, and the fit is perfect. It's not too big, it's not too tight, you can layer it still, and it just gives that minimal monochromatic outfit a perfect kick of taste, so you won't look super basic, and this will create a really cool statement. This also looks very well if you're trying to dress a little bit dapper. This creates an element of more of a sophisticated vibe, especially with the material and the fit. It looks amazing. Here's a photo of me wearing it. If you guys want to check more photos of me styling this at By Carlos Alberto, go stop there and you guys will see basically everything I'm going to show you today being worn. So this jacket fits really cool. It's from Oak and Fort. It's not expensive. It's pro I think it cost me around $80 or even less. The fit's amazing. The style is amazing and the block is amazing. So. Definitely a big fan of Oak and Ford. Definitely a big fan of this jacket. Now the next thing, if you guys don't follow my Instagram, go check it out now because you guys will see that I've been a big fan of denim jackets. And my denim jacket, I've personalized a little bit too much. I got carried away. I think with the way I used to dress, I definitely try to alter every article of clothing to fit that style of dressing, which is a big mistake because now I have to do a lot more shopping. But I picked up a brand new denim jacket. Now this denim jacket is from a thrift store called Mars in Berkeley. And this fits amazing. This is a vintage Gap block, so it fits awesome. It's not too baggy, it's not too tight, so I could layer it, I could wear it very casually, or I could throw this on with a button-up shirt and a tie, and it looks really amazing as well. So it's the perfect fitting jacket because, like I said, it's not tight, it's not too baggy. So I could definitely mix both worlds with this one jacket, which is amazing because of the versatility, which is completely important for me. And I bought it for $18 at a thrift store. I was like, dude, do you have two of these? But like I said, this jacket is amazing. It has a little bit of history to it. It's a Gap vintage pattern, which is amazing. And I'm happy that I found this and picked this up. The next item, if you do not follow my Instagram, make sure you go check it out. You guys know I wear leather jackets and I've had a Boda skin for such a long time, but I feel like I need to step up my Boda skin game. I've already pinned the old one and it's been worn. It's been through hell and back. I've done everything with that leather jacket. And now it was time to introduce a brand new leather jacket for fall. And I fell in love with one that had a really nice shirling collar on it boom that shirling collar is amazing this leather jacket is amazing and it just fits perfectly i'm a size large 
My shoulders are, my blazer size is a 42 uh, regular. I'm six feet tall and I weigh 185 and I have a 10 inch drop from my shoulders to my waist, just so you guys could reference sizing. Uh, and this fits perfect. The sleeves fit amazing. Uh, the block just feels really amazing. And it feels really good on. Everyone loves a leather jacket. And the good thing is that when you buy one leather jacket is with you for such a long time because they're so durable, especially if you buy a quality one like Boda skin. But a Boda skin has some amazing selections and you can't really go wrong with the Boda skin. I highly recommend that brand. And they ship everywhere and the prices are perfect for the actual quality. Now, the next staple item that I bought for fall, I was looking for something that was gonna keep me warm. I wanted to buy something that looked very old school, but very cool. And I found that scarves were probably gonna be that thing. So I went to go look for some scarves, but I don't really like the bulkiness of scarves and I just normally don't really wear them and I feel like it's not me. So I picked up some really cool ascots. Now this ascot is amazing. Boom, look at that material. Look at this fabric, some silk, bow. And really cool patterns. And the way these things work are quite simple. So basically they work similar to scarves. I think they make more of a statement to it. They're a little bit more appealing and not everyone's gonna wear an ascot, which is why I decided to go for these ascots. And essentially you just tie it around your neck, you tuck it into your shirt, and now you have an ascot, boom. Obviously there's better ways of tying it, but I'm just kind of rushing it for you guys. But essentially this is how you wear them and you leave your button loose or you could tie it all the way up. But these really do make a statement. They're actually really functional as well. They keep you warm and you can wear it like this as well when you walk indoors or you put it away. These were uh, three for $20, which is a steal. This could be an alternative to wearing uh, a bow tie. And it's something very original and classic that not a lot of people are doing. And you can find some of these on Etsy, you can find some of these on eBay. And a lot of times I've seen that they do come in bundles. Here's a photo of me wearing an ascot, and as you can see, it just elevated a basic white dress shirt. And it also could elevate a denim jacket, for example, which I wore, boom. So, ascots for me are my next thing. You'll probably see me wearing ascots throughout all and even summer, so be prepared for that. Now, down to the feet, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of wearing no-show socks. I've been wearing no-show socks since they didn't exist. I used to cut my socks and I would make sure that you couldn't see them. So when no-show socks came, they were the best invention that ever happened to me. But now it's fall. My pants are still a little bit cropped. I still enjoy wearing cropped pants, but I don't want to show my ankle because it is cold and I just actually want to fall into the fall theme properly this year for some reason. So I want to be more cozy. So I don't like the crazy socks with the crazy designs because they're a little bit kooky, they could be a little trendy, they could be fashion forward, I don't know. For me, I just don't like the attention that falls into your, I just don't like the attention that completely breaks your entire outfit and you see someone wearing crazy socks with a really sick outfit, it just kind of clashes. I went ahead and bought some solid color socks from Uniqlo. Uh, boom, as you can see, these are four for 20. I bought a few more, I bought two red socks, I bought some gold, a gold looking sock and I bought like a lighter mustard looking sock and some bronze socks and some white ones and I'm wearing the red ones right now Boom. and these are just something to make a statement with they could elevate your basic style like for example I'm wearing a white shirt right now with some blue trousers and I have red socks and black shoes and it just kind of elevates your style a little bit better especially if you throw on a denim jacket you'll just look super fly so that to me is something that it makes a subtle difference and you don't look like the next man so just even better for originality now moving on to your feet these boots bow they're not mason margella they're from asos these are a really nice pair of comfortable boots uh really good quality very, very affordable. As you can see, they're very trendy. You probably see, you probably saw someone wearing these on Instagram. Everyone has these, but a lot of times they have the designer ones. I'm not a big fan of spending $3,000 on a designer boot, unless I really like it. So that's the reason why I do enjoy shopping at ASOS because a lot of times they do follow trends that designers create. And so that means that I could try out the trend for very inexpensive. And if I do really enjoy it and I find myself wearing the boots quite often, I will buy the designer pair because it just makes more sense. But dropping 3K on a boot, doesn't make sense, I'd rather invest in a house or something. This boot right here is really awesome. It has a really nice rise to it and it covers your ankle. For me, this was particularly what enticed me to buy this boot because it does cover up a lot of your ankle and also it gives less opportunity for your pant to get caught on this loop. And sometimes when you're wearing Chelsea boots, for those of you who have Chelsea boots, notice that your pants get caught. Sometimes you go hours without even noticing that your pant is caught. And when you're wearing a really nice trouser and your pants caught on the back of your uh, loop, it just feels kind of funky and you're like, God, dude, I, I, I look so fresh, but this messed it up. So 
I used to cut them off because they were too low, but now this boot just kind of covers it and ensures that your pant is gonna fall right over. And if you move a little bit or you're walking, it's gonna have a little bit of space. Nonetheless, these boots are really affordable. They're really trendy and they're chunky enough, but not chunky where you are gonna have a crazy platform. All the high-end brands are doing these chunky shoes. God bless them. Now, last but not least is my latest purchase that I actually just got a couple days ago, so I haven't worn these. I did try them on, they do fit pretty good and they are the Zara loafers from their leather collection these are a limited drop boom as you can see it makes a crazy statement on the buckle it's a two-tone it has a burgundy and some black on it black right here contrasting with a nice heel nice stitching around the toe cap and around the entire shoe but it does look really sharp this is something I got because I feel like this has a really cool designer vibe to it. It's from Zara, which I was surprised. They are $185, which is the most expensive shoe I've ever purchased from Zara. A big fan of this shoe from Zara. I'm not sure if you guys can still get sizes on Zara.com, but they do have an amazing selection. So check out Zara's new collection because the fall one is fire. So that's what I have for you guys today. If you guys want to check out more of that toothbrush company, so if you guys want to check out Gleam down, so if you guys want to check out Gleam down below in the description is all the information you need to know about Gleam. Pick up a really cool toothbrush for your family, for your brother, for your friends, for your girlfriend, for anyone or if you know someone who actually is very uncomfortable to be around. Just do them a favor and say, here you go, man. Here's a really cool high-end, modern, minimal toothbrush that you could use every single day, two times a day with toothpaste. So if you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this pickup haul or slash gift guy that you guys could use perfect timing for the holidays have fun being safe wear a mask guys if you go outside and don't forget to put style on everything i really appreciate you guys stopping by peace out guys